video is all about lemons and the color yellow. It's that time of the year where I feel like I want a little bit of a pop of color and the color yellow to me is just so happy and bright and cheerful, energetic. So I wanted to do something yellow. Now I consider doing bananas but I wanted a little bit of a more European, Mediterranean kind of vibe. Um, so you see these lemons behind me. Um, I will show you how I made everything. Uh, and uh, yeah, just bring a little bit of fun to my space, which I think is a unique way to decorate your home. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get to the video. Now concerning murals there's a few simple steps that are important and need to be followed and one of them is making a good base so my room is it's probably the lightest room in the house but victorian houses tend to not have the best light as a lot of the buildings are built next to each other and thus making loads of shadows so i really wanted to consider that I have to pick a light base color otherwise the room would just you know absorb all the light and not be as bright as I want it to be and light is really important when I'm painting so I picked a color that was a bit lighter and because of that I had to do two coatings well I'm not gonna show you the second coating that I'm doing of this base but it's really important to pick a color and in general all of the colors of your mural before you start painting uh, you have to make sure that they fit together either using a color wheel it's always very helpful or just pick a color palette that's already made that's a very simple method of you know picking colors that would just work together and you don't need to think too much about it just see something that you like and really try and get the hues and the colors as best as close as they are to the palette as you can so here is after two layers of painting and uh, now I'm just taking my yellow color where I'm gonna start off by painting the lemons so for this mural I didn't really do a sketch or any kind of pre-design uh, because I really wanted to do everything freehand and just I found it you know I'm quite I feel quite confident in my skills so I found it uh, quite exciting and a bit less boring to keep repeating certain shapes um, because I would you know just really improvise on the spot I don't know I just find it a little bit thrilling to do that because you know you can make a mistake and then you can imagine <clears throat> uh, also color yellow is a very bright color it's the brightest color on the spectrum like on the sort of color wheel so it means that a lot of the time you know it doesn't have the best coverage or you can see a lot of things through it uh, but in general all of these paints that I used I had to make two layers of everything that I painted on so the leaves and the lemons had to be painted twice over um, because it seems that the slippy surface was letting some of the previous colors see through. You can see it on some of the lower leaves here, that sort of um, not very even coverage, but it was fine. Um, I managed somehow. And as you can see, I'm doing just some freehand leaf painting. Um, it was very fun. I think in general these colors that I picked are just so happy and bright and fun um, that every time I go into this room now I feel very excited um, maybe rejuvenated <laughs> I don't know it, it could be possible that at some time in the future I'll just repaint the whole thing um, but for now it's really working for me 
Also, I picked the colors in consideration of the purple on the other walls because I've only painted this wall itself. And there's going to be another little bit of a wall that I'll be painting and um, showing to you guys in another video. Um, but yeah, here you can see I'm doing a second coverage of some of the leaves. And you can see how much smoother it looks afterwards. Just really wanted it to look neat and nice, so um, just making it look as good as possible for the edges because you know when I paint the line art afterwards in black I don't I won't be able to go back as much it would be a lot more difficult so yeah so the idea was to just see if I can space out the lemons and the leaves as evenly as possible by what I mean by that is the gaps between these things that there wouldn't be a gap that would be too big or too small and it would be slightly more even and here I used a very pale yellow to demonstrate the fibrous parts of the lemon that are kind of like whitey cream to showcase the segments um, seeds and I also decided to add some petals of lemon blossoms now my partner said it looks a lot like daffodils uh, you'll see in a little bit um, I do think so myself but uh, yeah I find that lemon uh, blossoms are quite unique in their shape so it was quite interesting to um, make them and here I did something to the paint to have it a little bit more smoother as it was a bit clumpy and um, sort of dehydrated so I added a little bit of water and mixed it to make a bit of a more inky kind of texture so that um, the ink would spread a bit more evenly more like liquid paint yeah so this is the blossom I don't know if I got it as well as it looks like in real pictures but I just found it a very kind of interesting part of my mural as uh, I have all sorts of parts of lemon so it's lemons cut in half, lemons cut in quarters in little segments, whole lemons, lem lemon leaves, lemon blossoms and uh, yeah I thought it would uh, look a bit more of a variety and would make the whole mural a bit more interesting and here as the last some of the last parts I used a Posca pen uh, to make some sort of details for the little bumps on the lemons and the leaf uh, marks uh, because it's just interesting to add more detail and I could have left it as it was I think it looked nice as it was but um, I just felt like there was something slightly missing in it so at this point it's come up quite together quite well there's some other bits that I added that I, I didn't um, record like there were some highlighty bits on the lemons that I added with just a slightly uh, lighter yellow it took me around three four days to finish everything from you know the stripping and the cleaning and the sanding and the clearing out um, so it didn't really take up that much time uh, considering that there was a lot of extra work that had to be done beforehand I really enjoyed it and I would love to show you some more of my products that are happening in the house on um, painting old walls on in the corridors and I also want to now decorate my um, vanity because there's still some old um, more paint left there so I'll be decorating it with another fruit inspired kind of illustration thank you so much guys for watching um, 
it's been really fun to do this project and I'm, I'm happy I can share it with everyone. Hopefully other people will also decide to um, maybe decorate a little bit of their home, their pots or you know plant pots or uh, tables and maybe even you know your, their wardrobes or some kind of chairs, outside decorations. I think it's just a fantastic way to really make your home a little bit more special.